Okay, welcome back second grade. I'm glad you didn't leave me. Okay, we are going to be starting our hot air balloon project. So the supplies you are going to need. So you're gonna need a black marker. If you don't have a black marker, like a Sharpie, you can just use a regular black washable one. That's fine. A pencil, something to trace that's a circle. If you can't find something to trace that's a circle and a good like medium size or a large size, you can just freehand it. So if you can't find something to trace, don't worry about it, okay? No big deal. I am going to be starting with a Sharpie first, but you are going to be starting with a pencil. The reason why I am starting with a Sharpie first is just so you can see it a little bit better on your screen. But you will start with pencil and then trace with a Sharpie or your black marker. So at the top of my page, I am going to hold down my circle stencil. And then I'm going to take my marker or my pencil and I'm gonna trace around the lid. Remove the lid, now I have my circle. We're gonna leave the circle for right now just the way it is. This is going to be the top to your hot air balloon. The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna add the strings that come off of the hot air balloon. So I'm gonna add two lines that come down. And then I'm going to double it up so that it looks like the string or the rope. The next thing I wanna do is I want to add the basket that you would stand inside. So I'm gonna add a straight line across and make sure your ropes touch the top of the basket. And then my basket is going to go off the bottom of the page. Yours doesn't have to. If you wanna draw a line across the bottom, that's fine, no big deal. Now, here's where it gets kind of fancy. We want this um, basket to look like we could stand inside it. So we're going to make this look like a 3D basket. So on the corner of the square or the rectangle, I'm going to draw a line back that stops at that rope. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So it stops at the rope. And then in the middle, I'm just gonna draw a straight line across. So now it looks like you could actually stand inside the basket. Now we want this to look like a real basket. So I'm going to add some horizontal lines that go across the basket for detail. Remember these lines do not touch each other, spread them out. And then I'm going to add some vertical lines that are going to give it a nice pattern. So I'm gonna do two lines and then one line in the middle. And then two lines and then one line. Two lines and then one line. Once that's complete, then your basket is done. And we're gonna come back up here to the hot air balloon part. Because remember, we want this to look like a color wheel that you would find in the art room. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that circle in half, just down the middle. And mine's not perfect, look it, mine's a little crooked, no big deal. So line straight down the middle. And then you're gonna do a line straight across. So now I have four pieces, right? Four pieces. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an X through it. So I'm going to divide all of these triangles in half. You have to go slow when you do this because you wanna make sure that you're always going through that middle point. So let's see how many pieces I have right now. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight pieces to my color wheel. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna add some details to my background. So I am going to add some clouds using a bumpy line. And we discussed bumpy lines last week. Maybe it was the week before. So bumpy lines make clouds. If you wanna get really fancy, you can add a few little Vs in the background to look like little birds. And you could even take your blue marker and add some spirals. So maybe it looks like it's a really breezy or windy day outside. Just some little wavy lines, just to fill it up. There we go. 
Well, looks like I got a little bit of room down here. We'll fill that up. Okay. Once you have your background done and everything is traced with a black marker and it looks just like a coloring book, then we're going to start coloring in our color wheel. We're not gonna use markers for this. We're gonna use crayons, okay? If you don't have crayons available to you and you want to use marker or colored pencil, that's fine too. I'm gonna put my markers away though because I want to use crayon for mine. So I'm gonna get out my crayon box and I'm going to just start with red. And I'm just gonna put red right up here at the top. So I'm gonna fill that in. So I've got red. Make sure you're doing a nice job when you're coloring. We color up and down or side to side. No white spots. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the red away and then I'm gonna go to orange. because so I'm gonna do my three warm colors and my three cool colors. Okay, let's just pretend like I'm done. And then yellow. Now there might be a little bit of a glare from my classroom windows. So if you can't see the yellow that well, I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. So you can see my red, my orange, and my yellow. Then I'm gonna do my three cool colors. So I'm gonna do my green. And I'm not gonna do all of it because I want you to have time to do yours. And then blue. And make sure when you're picking your colors that you are reading the side of your crayon to make sure that it's the color that you need. Because sometimes they like to trick you. So make sure you're reading the side that you have the real color you need. Okay, and then I need purple. Another name for purple is violet. So if you're reading the side of your crayon and you see the word violet, that is the color you need. Okay, now you're probably saying, well, Mrs. D, there's still two spaces left. What am I gonna do with those? Well, you're just gonna pick two neutral colors, just two of them, but we're not gonna do white, okay? We're not gonna do white because then it's gonna look like we just forgot to color it in. So I'm just gonna pick black and brown. So I'm gonna color this in. And this in. Okay, once you have your color wheel all colored in, you have all three warm colors, all three cool colors, and two neutrals, then you're going to carefully color in the basket. So I want my basket to be brown. So I am going to fill all of that in, including the back of the basket. I'm going to leave the ropes white so that they stand out. Once you are done with the basket and everything is colored in nice and neat, then you can do the background. The background, you can take a light blue and you can just simply color in your sky. Or if you have watercolors, watercolor like paint trays, then you could paint your background blue. I'm gonna leave that up to you. So if you have watercolors, then you are more than welcome to paint your background blue. Once you're all finished with the project, I want you to put all your supplies away, keep your space nice and clean, and then take a photo of your artwork and then upload it into Google Classroom so I can see that you understand the three warm colors, the three cool colors, and two neutrals. All right, that's it for today, guys. Good luck.